desert titanium. Hmm. Crazy. What up, what up, your boy? It's crazy1870. So iPhone 16, iPhone 16 Pro, iPhone 16 Pro Max. Pre-orders started today. And I'm guilty, guilty as charged. I ended up going with the big boy, iPhone 16 Pro Max. When balls to the wall, desert, titanium. That is the one I rode with. So make sure to be on the lookout for all that coverage coming next week. So I kind of wanted to just to go over some of the cool features and my thoughts on the new lineup. So obviously you have two models. Well, you have about three models, but as far as the Pro, which is the one that I'm mainly interested in, is the iPhone 16 Pro, obviously the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Two screen sizes, now you have a 16, I'm sorry, 16. You have a 6.3 inch and you also have a 6.9 inch, which you're gonna be a little bit bigger in screen size, but that's just because it has, it's gonna have a thinner bezel when it comes to the actual screen. So yes, it is a larger screen if you're coming from the iPhone 15 Pro Max and jumping to the iPhone 16 Pro Max, you are gonna see a little bit of a jump when it comes to that screen. Now this one here is more like on a software side um, and that is Apple intelligence. So one of the coolest things that stood out to me in regards to that is the fact that I'm able to write up an email or write up a text or write up a note and it'll give me the option to kind of rephrase the whole the whole email or whatever I'm trying to say and rephrase it into more of a professional kind of rewrite the whole email in a professional or a personal it gives me those options which again that's something that I'm definitely going to take uh, pretty much into consideration and pretty much use because I do write a lot of emails, whether it be for business or whatever the case may be. And sometimes I kind of want to sound a little bit more professional. So that's going to give me a little bit of a help when it comes to that software, Apple intelligence. Again, more info on that once I kind of do a full video on that. So make sure to be on the lookout for that. There's also the all new A18 Bionic chip, which again, is going to give you obviously a leap in performance. And that's not to say, you know, if you're coming from the iPhone 15, obviously, you know, it, it's really that huge of a difference. But again, you do have a better battery life, obviously, jumping into the iPhone 16 Pro or even 16 Pro Max because of that chip. Uh, so again, that's something to kind of take into consideration. But again, not that big of a difference or I don't see a major upgrade jumping from an iPhone 15 Pro Max to an iPhone 16 Pro Max, you know, just because of the battery life. Nonetheless, the iPhone 15 Pro Max, it is a really, really good phone. But again, um, the, the 16 Pro, it uh, does come equipped with the 18 uh, A18 Pro chip, which again, is gonna give you obviously performance and again, better battery life. Camera control, you now have camera control on the iPhone 16. It is a physical button on the side, which is gonna be super convenient to pretty much whip out your phone and access the camera in landscape mode or obviously in vertical. But again, it is a physical button that's gonna allow you to activate either pretty much your camera department. Uh, you're gonna also be able to physically zoom in and out from lenses and f-stop i believe as well when it comes to obviously video or pictures which again that is super super dope for all of those that create a lot of content with their iphones i think that is super super dope that they brought that to the iphone 16 pro lineup again that still doesn't make me want to jump if i have the iphone 15 to the iPhone 16 Pro Max or Pro or any iPhone lineup when it comes to the iPhone 16 because of that. Although I do think that's pretty, pretty dope that they did that. Touching a little bit more on the camera department, you now have a 48 megapixel camera on the iPhone 16 lineup. Not only that, you also have 4K at 120 frames per second. Again, really, really cool. Those that shoot a lot of content on their phones 
are going to take full advantage when it comes to that feature on the iPhone 16 Pro Max or iPhone 16 Pro. I think that is super, super dope. And speaking in general, the cameras on the iPhone 15 and the iPhone 16 are insane. There are really, really good cameras when it comes to content, whether it be video or pictures. So again, I, I see this being super, super useful for those that create a lot of content on their phones. Now there's also a audio mix feature in the camera department or software department. Um, and that is another really, really cool. You have something that's called in-frame studio or cinematic these three options are going to offer different features and settings to adjust the voice when it comes to a video that you shot whether it be kind of eliminate background noise or whatever the case may be so again these are really cool pro level features when it comes to the iphone 16 pro and again, the 16 Pro Max. So those are just some of the cool features that come on the iPhone 16 and some on the iPhone 16 Pro Max uh, or Pro models. Uh, so again, iPhone pre-order was today. I did pick one up, so make sure to be on the lookout for content covering that device. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you ordered, let me know what did you get. Follow me on Instagram, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.